today I'm going to show you how to use the expression card in BotPress. We're going to start at the very basics and move over so that we gradually can start implementing these cards into your chatbot. Whether you're just starting out building or already creating smart bots, this guide will help you understand the basics as well as unlocking new possibilities for your projects. And by the way, don't forget to join our growing Discord community for more tips, tricks and networking with fellow AI enthusiasts. But I don't want to keep you waiting for much longer. So now let's get into BotPress. And just so you all know, this template can be found in my Discord server so what I recommend you doing is download the template, load up BotPress and install this template to your workspace so that you can access and see what I'm doing in real time. But what is a transition card? Well, transition cards are used to determine which node in the conversation the flow should go to next. And this is basically built out of a JavaScript condition that your chatbot would follow based on, for instance, user behavior or what has happened previously in the conversation. So as you can see here, we have two examples. If the user types yes, the flow goes to a specific node, or if the user types anything else, the flow goes to a fallback node. So what this basically means is that transitions work often in pairs of two, and I'm going to show you that later, but now I want to show you how a transition might look like. So we'll start with the age one here. So coming into this node, we can see that we have a capture card that asks for the age and stores it inside the user age variable. And then we have an expression where it says workflow.userAge, which is this variable because you, this is a workflow variable. So then you need to have workflow and then dot and then the, the name and then have a condition. So now it's bigger than 18. So if I try the bot out and I will start and it will ask for my age and I say 19, it will continue to this node where it says it works. But if I start over again and I say 17, it won't, it won't transition and it will just end. And that is because when I set 17, it's, it's less than 18. So this returns false and this won't activate or activate. And for the second example, we have email here and it is and uh, when we input our email it's be going to be stored inside of workflow.user email and in this one we have another condition where it's this brackets and then workflow.user email dot length is greater than zero so if we start over and it asks for my email i say my email here it will transition because I've inputted my email. But if I move this to another node and I just type in something, then this variable will be empty as you can see here on the left and it won't transition. And if we go into the, the last one, we have event.preview is equal to hello mate. So I give you all three seconds to guess what this basically means. Okay, so event.preview is the last message. So if the last message is hello mate, then it will continue. But if it's something other than hello mate, it won't continue. So basically if I type in hey, it will just end. But if I type hello mate, it will continue. If you're a beginner and you want to start using the expression cards, which I personally highly recommend, these are my three tips for you. And you can see them right here. So first start simple and when you're developing, Try your expression so you make sure that it's working because you don't want to go back and troubleshoot your whole bot once it's completely finished. And document your expressions. So you can create like a doc a text document in like Google Drive or something where you like basically just type in what works and for what use case. And then once you're going to develop new solutions, you can just go back into your like your old text files and get the ones that you that worked well for you. So now I will build an expression and I'll show you guys how I do it. So we're going to create a new node. At first we want something to base it from and I'm just going to get a raw input card or we'll ask for the name and then I'll say create a new variable called username and hit create. And as I said previously, expressions often works in 
pairs of two or three or even more but this is because that we want like we want to classify multiple things at once maybe we not just only have true or false maybe we have like three different things so for instance we can have add an expression and we can add different names we can say joe uh, and so if the user's name is joe workflow dot username is, e is equal to and then add joe then this will trigger or maybe if the user's name is Kyle, we can add workflow dot username is equal to Kyle. Or maybe if it its name's Luve, so maybe we want to filter out these three names. What are we doing then? So maybe we have three different options here and we want to send one message to everyone. So we say, hey Joe. Or we say one in this and two in, th and two in the other. And we do this just because we want to filter out different things. So transitions almost always works in pairs or multiple at once, like, like in this way. Um, just so that we can filter out m content that we want to capture. So if we'll just try this, I can start by maybe saying hey. Then I say Joe and it will say hey Joe. Or I can go again and I'll say Lowe and it will say two. So this basically filters out what we're looking for. But if I try this and I say um, maybe John Doe, it won't say anything. So expressions is a really powerful tool that every bot builder must master. I hope that you all, both new and more experienced developers, learned something new from this video. If you have any thoughts, please let me know. And don't forget to grab the template from my Discord server. And while you're there, just present yourself and try engaging a bit with the other members. Until next time, I wish you all the very best.